one, two, three. My lord, it has come much closer. It draws near. The roar of the lion. Welcome, everyone, to Let's Play Samurai Warriors 2. I'm your host, Alexander Frost, and this is Episode 1. And this LP has been about two years waiting. You have waited and waited and waited for me to play this, and now, finally, I am doing so. And all it took was for my PS3 to die. <laughs> so... Before we begin, let's go through all the various modes to show you what's what. Story mode is essentially story mode. Free mode is free mode with a few differences. Survival mode is um, a bit like the survival mode in Samurai Warriors, where it's more about getting through an infinitely vast enemy castle with a set number of floors, and as you progress and get higher and higher, you can... Um, save you progress and pay a little money to actually go to another floor instead of um, instead of restarting. Suguroku is an interesting little mini game which I believe I'm going to make its own little series uh, within Samurai Warriors. The vault is the vault where I can look at various weapons, officers and information and then of course options. We'll start here. Now, there are a few major differences between Samurai Warriors 2 and 1, the first of which is there is no character creation, and there is no way for me to name bodyguards, so I can't take anyone with me on this adventure. I'm sorry. Let's see, display. Enemy life on, events, yada yada yada. That was something I liked in Samurai Warriors. In the first game, before you added on Extreme Legends, of course, if an enemy officer, a high name general, approached you, there wasn't a cutscene, but um, they, they were just there. Whereas when Extreme Legends came out, the events played out. Of course, you could turn them off, but, well, it wouldn't be a proper LP if I didn't show you everything, now would it? Sound-wise, unfortunately, there is no option to switch to Japanese dubbing. So it's all English dubbing. I cannot change it, and I do not like what they've done with some of the voices, so we'll suffer through it together. Uh, and then controller, they did change a few things. First of all, with R1, there is now a special stance button instead of bow and arrow. We no longer have the ability to use bows, not that we use them very heavily anyway. I will get to that, though, when the time comes. So to kick things off, we're just going to go straight into story mode. Now, like our, the Samurai Warriors LP, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Samurai Warriors 2 as Yukimura Sanada. Then, 
I'm going to switch over to Samurai Warriors to Extreme Legends and finish out the LP that way so you can see the differences between the two. Now, there are a number of new heroes, as well as old heroes. To start with, we have Yukimura. Uh, this is a new profile and everything. We have Yukimura, we, we already know him. Mitsuhide, we've already known him. Oichi, who has gone from being a little girl to a full-grown lady. Ieyasu Tokugawa. Now, it's been a while since I've played this, so I may be wrong. I don't think Ie I know Ieyasu was not a playable character in the first Samurai Warriors game, and I'm fairly certain he wasn't in Extreme Legends, but now he is, and he has a spear cannon. Mitsunari Ishida. Now this is my first encounter with the man. Uh, unlike uh, Sengoku Basta, where he's this rage-filled emo man, this time he's not. He's more of a tactician. Ginchio Tachibana. Uh, she's an interesting new character. Loves lightning. Loves lightning. Finally, Kotaro Fuma. A ninja who is... This is probably my least favorite incarnation of Kotaro as I've encountered him over the various games, but, um, he, he's a ninja. <laughs> so, if you hit circle here, you can see the special attack that every character has. Special 1, by pressing and holding R1 and then pressing square or triangle, we get two different abilities uh, activating. For Yukimura, R1 and square is dash forward, leaving a trail of flame. And then uh, triangle is he calls a horse to his side, so he always has a horse available to him. So let's kick things off, shall we? Returns to battle. And then you can kind of get a little, a little sound of what his voice sounds like. Now, I kind of like this voice from the first game. It's okay. This one isn't bad either, but I kind of preferred the first one myself. Now, the way the battles work this time is, especially when you play in free mode, is instead of picking your character, then picking a character's scenario, and then picking a battle from that scenario, instead what you do is you pick a battle, you pick a character, you pick a battle, and then you pick which side you want to fight on. It's a little different, but not bad. There's also a shop you can go to, and then that leads to a whole other thing. So let's go ahead and duck into the shop real quick. Welcome. Today is our grand opening. I hope to see you around here often. Now here we can pick up... Now we don't have any gold. The gold mechanic from Samurai Warriors Extreme Legends kind of carried over into the main game here. So, here we can pick up a number of things. Uh, weapons. We have one weapon, our basic weapon. We have an X, X number of weapons. We can only carry, I think, like eight or so. But we can also sell them at will. Every weapon we pick up will have certain stats attached to it. We can also power up our weapons. This weapon can't be upgraded further, which is fine. It's our base weapon. But we can um, power up a weapon using gold and increased stats, as well as assign random stats to it, which is nice if it has the slots for it. <clears throat> skills? There are many kinds of skills that sort of replace items in the game, which is nice. There are ability items, growth, battle, and special abilities, and over the course of the game we'll more or less unlock all of them. And every so often some abilities will go on sale, but for the most part I'm not going to worry about those. We can hire bodyguards to escort us, but we can't name them, we can only pick bodyguards, and there are many different kinds. As far as I know, we should, we do have a couple to start with. Let's see, this guy is a samurai, Takanobu is a samurai. Nagato is a ninja, and then Koshihosho, Kosho, Koshosho, I might be pronouncing it wrong, is our archer. Um, well, and that's about it, really. <laughs> we have three bodyguards to start, we can hire more, or we could sell them, can I? I know I don't have enough gold, can I? Okay, I can't dismiss them from here, but we're not going to worry about it right now. And then mounts, we can buy various mounts. Now, we don't actually have any for sale right now. But, um, well, we don't really need one since we're playing as Yukimura. Thank you. Please come again. I will. Though not as frequently as you might think. So let's go on ahead, and also we can dock to the shop from here just by hitting circle. So let's go ahead and start it up. Bye. 
got to get away before the next round. Mida, servant of the Oda. But I just changed affiliation, so now I'm just a regular guy. What's your name, kid? Yukimura Sanada. Let's make it through this, Yukimura. In the year 1573, two years following the death of Shingen Takeda, Shingen's son Katsuyori began the long journey to the capital in order to carry on his father's ambition. Nobunaga Oda, known throughout the land as the Demon King, saw this as the perfect opportunity to eliminate the Takeda once and for all and set forth to meet him at Nagashino. Katsuyori gave the order to charge the Oda army. However, lying in wait for his men was a force equipped with 3,000 rifles. That day, the renowned Takeda warrior Yukimura Sanada watched as countless brave men fell to the fiery rain of bullets. The battle had made it painfully clear that the age of the traditional warrior had ended and a new age of modern combat was about to begin. My pride may be lost, but I will not give up the fight. Chapter 1. Retreat from Nagashino. My spear shall lead me to victory! So, um, it's pretty painfully obvious that I am not happy with how they portrayed Keiji's voice in this game. I mean, any voice would have been a step down from Steve Blum, let's be honest here. But to hear him go from the wild man that Keiji was in the first game to this, I don't know what it was, is just an insult to the ears. So, here's how everything works out now. We go through our equipment, we check our weapons, our skills, our guards, and our mount. Now, we don't have any guard. Well, we have one basic weapon, like I said before. Skills! We have a whole cornucopia of skills here. As we progress through the game, these will begin to fill out as you keep more levels up. I can also buy skills. Unlike items in which you could only equip, say, five at a time, here I can literally equip everything. I can equip every single skill that is going to appear on here. So there's no reason to not get everything. <laughs> um, let's see, we have fortitude, decreases strength, our defense strength increases impulse, better speed, grace, better dexterity. All right. Pretty simple. We only have one guard here, our, our samurai, Takanobu. So we'll leave him on duty for now. No reason not to. 
No horses, so no reason for mounts. Conditions for winning this battle? Defeat Nobunaga. Defeat if Katsuyori or Yukimura are defeated. So now we have to make sure that Katsuyori, Shingen's son, doesn't die. Really not that hard, honestly. It's really not that hard. And here we can actually see um, what kind of abilities an officer has equipped, what their morale is. I'm not sure what the class is. I'm pretty sure that only applies to everyone except me because I'm the player. But uh, as you can see here, I'm largely outclassed. Largely, largely outclassed. And then we can check our move list as well. So that's what we have. <laughs> Pretty simple. So let's go on ahead and get right into it. The great Takeda have fallen. Now to dig up their roots. We have lost everything. The end draws near. Ain't nothing over yet, kid. Just follow me. I'll help you get through this. Well, in that case, horse. Now you notice We're right away. To take the enemy general's head and raise it in victory. Okay, I'm gonna pause. Are you gonna notice right away that the camera is um a bit different from the first game? It's uh, definitely lower to the ground and closer, so it makes it easier for you to see enemies farther away, something that didn't happen in Samurai Warriors. However, because it's so much lower and closer, when you're in a large group of enemies, it's a little harder to see what you're doing. Oh, of course. Alright, what do I need to do? Beat on things? Why did you save me? Ah, shucks. I didn't want to see you die. Especially when you got such a great heart. Gotta admit, the man does the best he can. Oh, no I'm taking your horse. Pull back and regroup. My horse now. I took your horse. I yes. took your horse, KG. It will do you no good. You won't keep me from the treasures I desire. I do like his voice. Good God. Nope, no. How did you get thrown? What the? Oh. Let the era of Lord Nobunaga begin. Oh, oh God, no. Okay, about to die. About to die. Horse, horse. I need a horse. Get away from me! Yep. Stop it. Okay, so since I don't have any abilities or any items or anything, I am weak sauce. And it sucks. Oh, I don't need money. The warrior spirit is no match against the rifle. Oh, great. So yeah, we still have little missions that are... That, that's good. Little mini-missions, that hasn't changed. Right now, I'm kind of focused on basically running down um, a Monkey Boy here, because if he manages to net land under the blows on me, I am finished. Yep, yep, there we go. How do you like being juggled, huh? Don't feel too good, do it. I don't feel like dying today. Sayonara! Oh, thank you. More health. No, that's not health. That's helpful, what? thank you. The gates are closed. We'll have to go around. Nobunaga just changed how things work. But I have not changed. Yeah, you haven't changed at all. That's no big secret. Hey, there's Katsuyori. I'll stay with him. The enemy has taken control here, too? We've got no choice but to charge straight through Tobikasu. Alright, charge straight through. I can do that. Much more. Or, or not. Feel the Demon King. Oh, 
Y'all should also be noticed that this is the first time I have played this game in forever. Since before I started doing Samurai Warrior, so it's been about three years since I played. So I'm gonna be understandably rusty. Where are you? I'm gonna beat on you. I'm gonna beat on you. I said I'm gonna beat on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll let you handle Tadakatsu. Because I like living. Ooh, new weapon. New Ow! Yeah, uh. I, I did not miss Sumo Wrestler Gotti Bodyguards. The end of the you may never recover. Sure, but you can keep on living even if the Takeda are finished. Alright, so I am understandably, um. Uh, okay, you can save other guards who are other soldiers who are in jeopardy. Um. Uh, <laughs> I'm a little bit more used to Sengoku Basada where there's longer periods of silence. In this game, everyone just keeps fucking talking. Shut up! Why, Keiji? Why must I live? You realize it soon enough. In the meantime, you just gotta keep on fighting. Now let's go make the best of this, shall we? Those were bullets. And it's they all did not over <laughs> Oh, good. He made his way north. I'm surprised you're still alive, though you won't be for long. Lord Nobunaga's quest for the land shall be built on your grave. That's a little harsh, don't you think? I'm prepared this time. I'm ready. You are not going to eat it. I'm gonna beat on you anyway. The monkey had me off guard, but not now. Oh, I'm already halfway there. There we go. That's the spirit. Keep it up just like that. Yitsuhide. We meet again. This land will benefit once I have taken you from it. I like the first Nope. But, uh, you know, it's okay. He doesn't do a bad job. Ow. Just don't have any hits. God, I, I don't really use the, the charge flame move as often as I should. I, I really should take better advantage of it, because it, it's really useful. As you see, I mean, it's good for stunning people. Or, you know. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, well, now you could level up in the middle of battle in the first game, so yeah. Stop, stop it. Hey, can I still counter? Yes, I, no, I can't. Uh, yeah, that's another thing. Counters apparently have been removed. There we go, I love it. Leveling up gives you full health and all an impressive um, display of skill. Yeah, just getting overspoken today. Is yours. Leveling up will for a few moments Man, I'm just getting a crap beat out of me. Give you attack the the all four of the pickupable items. Uh, attack, defense, speed, and muzao for about five seconds, which is nice. Look, fat boy, I'm busy. Oh. This game introduced Team Muzao attacks. The ground will be littered with the corpses of Takeda. Wait, where's my horse? All units, move quickly. We must waste oh, no time in wasting them. If you're close to your bodyguard, damn it! Look. If you're close to your bodyguard, 
and they, whenever you, you have full moves out, lightning will lance between you and them. Activate it, and you both use your moves out attack together. It's really quite awesome. He's not in danger, he's right up there. The only thing I'm worried about is a possible ninja attack. Your best won't be good enough. I did not plan that, I swear. That's I just so thought about it. Here is where your flesh shall be. Impulse shall be your undoing. Yeah, Hanzo's voice is not as good as the previous incarnation. It's okay. It, it definitely sounds like whoever played him tried to emulate. Look, dude, I'm trying to praise you here. Okay, get away from me. It definitely sounds like whoever played him tried to emulate. Um. The, the voice actor from the first game, or maybe it's the guy from the first game and his voice changed, I don't know. But whatever the case is, this is okay, I still like the first one better. Just a matter of preference. Okay, no, no, stop it! Okay, apparently I cannot... That's something else that changed in this game, you cannot block and back up anymore. Elf, need it, need it. Alright, let's do this. If you back up, you stop blocking. Because I was trying to back away from him and it wasn't working. Yeah, all you can do is kind of, uh, yeah, that's that's no bueno. Failure. You did fail. Get out of here. Horsey. 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 Since I am talking about Samurai Warriors, something I am hoping that they do is that they release... Th that... that they give you the ability to make your own characters like they did in the first Samurai Warriors game, and I hope that you can make a ninja. Those of you who already play the game, who have Samurai Warriors 4, or who know Please do not tell me. I want to find out for myself. Don't tell me. Don't surprise me. Don't spoil me on Samurai Warriors 4. Dead serious on this. If you try and spoil me on it, I will ban you from the channel. And I don't normally do that kind of thing, so I'm, I'm totally serious on this. Don't tell me. Okay? Thank you. But the Takeda have lost too much today. It's not over yet, Yukimura. We're gonna have to take down Nobunaga if we want to escape. Escape? What for? What do we have that's worth living for? Don't worry about that now. Just focus on tearing off Nobunaga's ugly head, will ya? Sure, because that's totally a great idea. Alright. Oh crap, that's Takatsu. I better hurry then. Okay. Oh, there you are. Come here so I can not disappoint you. I don't think my moveset will change in the middle of battle, but... No, not yet. But it will. Give it time, it will. Stop blocking. Oh yeah, that was the other thing I was going to say, is, um... You can no longer counter by blocking and then hitting triangle. That, that has changed, unfortunately. I kind of missed that. I, it doesn't. I never even used it very much in Samurai Warriors, but it was a nice option to have, you know. It was nice to be able to say, oh, "I can do. I can totally do that." So yeah, unfortunately, because of the lack of items, since you can't actually build items anymore—not build items, but since you can't equip items on your characters anymore, every character. Um, how am I trying to say this? Any items I get, any items I would, it, when I played Samurai Warriors, any items I would get as Yukimura would go towards the pool of items that every character could use. So when I started playing as another character who was starting brand new, they could at least have a few items to give them a, a little bit of a head start. I don't have that advantage here anymore. So it's literally when I start as a new character, that character is going to have to fight on their own. The best I can do is buy them some skills with gold. So, um... 
Ah, new war. Come to me. I will give you death. Katsuhi is just like um the old okay. Katsuhi here. Who is attacking me? I cannot lose. The burden I bear will not let me. All right, I'm going to pause here because I'm not going to be able to talk over them. Destroy them all. Katsui Ie is just like Ieyasu was in the first Samurai Warriors game. He is a unique NPC. He does not become playable, however, until Samurai Warriors 2 XL, in which case he will get his own unique weapon instead of a staff. Or not a staff, instead of a spear. So, that said, flames! Just fix your attentions. Fix your attentions. Bodyguard? No, no, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Now. Yeah, you're not as crazy overpowered as, as uh, Samurai Warriors. Not that you're underpowered. Anymore. It's just, you know, to start with, you're not crazy. <laughs> so it's not easy to just mow through lines of people. Then again, I have been playing things like uh, Warriors at OG3, Sengoku Boss, and such work. You can start off fairly powerful. You had better take pride in this victory. ESP. If you had noticed that little red gauge to the left of Yukimori's image down there, that is. Well, that is his EXP gauge. Once it maxes out, I gain a level. Simple and efficient. Now, why did you survive this? Surely someday you return to destroy us. I will defeat you. I stake my dad's honor on it. Now here's my question. Why did you attack me? Why did you appear as an event captain if you weren't even gonna go after me? If you notice at the bottoms there, Yukimura's um, sing uh, uh, Muzao game has extended just a little tiny bit. Whenever I get the chance, I will show you uh, what this means, because I'm kind of sort of getting beat up by an old man with a sword. Look, dude. Okay, he's done. Oh, you're done. The AI has improved. They've learned dodge roll. Speaking of which, how do I dodge roll? I don't even know. I honestly don't know how to... Oh, right. There's an evasion button. R2. Durr. In the first game, if you started a Muzao attack with the enemy in front of you, they would block. But if you could work around behind them, defeat is an important lesson as well. If you could work around behind them, you could start hitting them. However, in this game, if you work around behind them, they're like, eh, no, that's not gonna fly, and they dodge out of the way. They're smart. Anyways, every character's boss at a boss at a gauge, a Muzao gauge is now segmented. Shot in the face with bullets. What this means is whenever you charge, you can only charge up to one segment. Now, I can continue to build the gauge further by beating on it. Oh, good, a new move. New move? Is it this? No. What is it? Oh, okay. An extension to my normal square cut. There we go. So I can still use my moves out gauge when I'm full like that. When it's at one segment, but once it builds up to two segments, it becomes even more powerful. But I can't charge up to that second segment. I have to do it by beating on enemies or grabbing items. Alright, now all that's said and done, it's time for us to go ahead and Hey, I was calling my horse, you jerk. It's time for us to go beat up on Nobunaga. End of this battle, because it's gone on long enough. You had death breathing down on you from all sides. 
but you kept fighting. When I saw that, I knew I couldn't hang around with those Oda losers anymore. Did you? Don't quit now, Yukimura. You got a shiny future ahead of you. I know it. Are you sure you want to get this close to me? I am Nobunaga of the Oda clan. I couldn't guess. Ow, 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 no, no, stop, stop, stop. I predict the end of the old world. I really hate not being able to back up and block. I really hate it. A new era. Might be enough to get my ass whooped. And it's stupid. Oh, no. No. Damn it. Where's no? Where's no? Come here, you. I am not done with you. Not, there we go. Well, I look forward to meeting you again. I'm sure you do. The first battles are definitely going to be long, just because I'm underpowered. Hopefully, future battles will not take as long. Hopefully. I know this one's already running kind of long. No, no, you stay away from me, Samurai. Fat boy, fat boy, you die. You die now. I'm gonna have you pick me up and throw me while I'm fighting your Nobunaga. Nope, stop it. Stop blocking. Alright, Nobunaga, where are you at? Oh, hi, there he is. That was pathetically, that was terrible. I just keep using the long one to come. That was a great shot of the corner of his cage. Thank you, camera. <laughs> no, 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 no. Gotcha! Hmm, retreat. Interesting. No enemy shall ever surpass me! You may run from me, but you will never escape the flow of time. I'm still alive. I've survived to see an age that no longer has use for me. <laughs> you really are hopeless, you know that? Just because you've got the heart of a warrior doesn't mean you've got to waste it entirely on war. I'll see you again, Yukimura. Hopefully so. That took much longer than originally than originally planned. It, it really did. I was trying to say planned and anticipated together. Yeah, it was C rank. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty crappy. I admit. But, you know, I mean, well, what do you expect? All right, we got two new weapons. One with more dexterity and lock. That's going to be helpful. That's right. That's something I forgot to mention. I don't remember if this was the case in Samurai Warriors, but in Dynasty Warrior games, in the earlier ones, um, the combos that you could use would get longer and more powerful if you used stronger weapons. It is not so here. But luck definitely helpful, we'll keep that one. That one just has attack plus 14, but it has five open slots, so I could potentially power that up to something even better than the other cross spear. So I'll take it. So our attack growth is normal, so we're gonna mo focus more on normal growth at the moment than anything else, but yeah, it's still good, it's still good. We got focus, which ups the length of our Muzal gauge, and that's all. Oh yes, bodyguards can level up too. 
forgot about that. Yes. No. Don't save just yet, because the recording could come out badly. That, however, is going to do it for this episode, everyone. Next time, we will move on to the Siege of Odawata Castle and learn the new mechanics of Castle Stages. So until next time, everyone, thanks for watching.